Good afternoon, graduates, families, friends, and colleagues. To our CGS graduates, I am honored to speak to you and to wish you well and to bid you farewell. Graduation is a huge milestone in your life. Your emotions are most likely all over the place. You must be so excited about being done with high school, but at the same time, nervous about what the future holds. Well, I have a few words of advice. High school is a time to find yourself, to define who you are and your passions. However, high school is just the beginning. Do continue to redefine and reinvent yourself as you learn more and more and explore more. Don't be fixed just yet in one particular way. Don't create boundaries. You're still so young. Instead, open up to new ideas and seek those who are different from you, like me. Get to know them and keep expanding your worldview as you've been doing at CGS these past few years. Okay. Second word of advice, keep thinking deeply. At CGS, we ask you to think deeply and to wonder. Last year, I asked you to consider many questions that as CGS teachers, we hope push you beyond what is familiar and comfortable. Questions such as, who are you as a knower? How do you know that you've gone from one neighborhood to another or one community to another? How does our language shape the way we think? How do we know something with certainty? What is truth? I know you have found these types of questions very frustrating as there are no correct answers. There are never any multiple choice uh, to, to learn and to memorize and then quick tests to take. I know instead that most likely you ended up with a lot of headaches. I did too. But you showed me something that is very hard to grade. That whether or not you write eloquently, that you are most certainly critical thinkers, that you are willing to question norms, to question social paradigms, and to give voice to issues that most people would choose to overlook. All right, third word of advice. Please don't think of the pandemic as years that have been lost. I remember when we first started school from home, how we were all in disbelief, but super happy to have to, uh, not to have to be in school physically. It was unbelievably fantastic. You were on camera while we, your teachers, bumbled along figuring out the technology. It was really nice for a while. But then as time went on, school from home was not quite working. Your classes became hard for you to understand, and oftentimes you didn't always feel motivated or excited about seeing me. You would show me your face, but then over time, I learned that your face was actually an image of you nodding very politely in agreement with me, but that it was just an image. You were absolutely genius about that. The experience was not at all what it should have been for you. It was isolating and tiresome and even depressing. It was for me too. It was so easy to get lost and it was so easy to not be sure about whether others um, were enjoying your company or not. But you persevered somehow. You endured. You had a roller coaster of a time for sure. But here you are now. You are the graduating class of 2022. Your parents and your teachers and I, we are all so proud of you. You need to know that. You should be proud of yourself too. Just one more thing. Later in TOK class, we had this exhibition as a final assessment. The pandemic was not ending. This thing was going on. It was affecting our mood, our will to stay motivated, and I wasn't sure what you were going to do. I wasn't sure if you would pull through, much less show up for the exhibition. But so many people, so many of you came. We had this huge exhibition in, this, in our community room and you did an amazing job and impressed every teacher who came to see it. Everyone had a lot to say. You made me so happy. It was the first time, believe it or not, that I had met many of you, that I got to see your faces, that I got to see your smiles in person and I just couldn't believe it.
what a fantastic job and what a fantastic show of critical thinking that day. I felt like crying. You have, I want to remind you, have had countless moments of success in all of these years and all of these classes that we call the pandemic period. I want you to remember the successes. I want you to take pride in those and remember all those moments. And so you see, there is a lot to embrace. There's a lot to applaud despite the pandemic. And so my dearests, I'm going to say to you, do your best, be your best. I bid you farewell. I will miss you. Your teachers will miss you. We're going to miss you terribly. And um, all the best, my dears. Bye-bye.